everyone! Welcome to the Everyday Weight Loss Hacks YouTube channel. Today we're going over the 7 most underrated weight loss tips for fast results, overlooked and uncommon. Okay, let's be honest, we're all looking for that secret weight loss hack, something revolutionary, right? Like, one weird trick that'll make us shed pounds without breaking a sweat. And yet, often, the answers are simpler than we'd like to admit. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for new cutting-edge solutions. But sometimes the best tools for weight loss have been hiding right under our noses this whole time. If you've ever thought, isn't there an easier way to do this? Well, the answer might actually be yes. I mean, let's stop overcomplicating it. In fact, these seven strategies are not just commonly ignored, they're often dismissed in favor of more exciting methods. But what if I told you that by simply applying these overlooked tips, you could actually see faster results like right now? We're talking proven results, even if they seem a bit, I don't know, basic, but here they are. Straightforward, yet surprisingly powerful. Let's jump right in. Make sure to watch until the end for one of the most surprising overlooked tips when it comes to using losing weight effectively that you can use this week to exponentially increase your chances of hitting your how to lose weight goals faster. Bet you can't guess what it is. Let's talk about breakfast. Most of us, me included at times, opt for something quick and easy. A muffin maybe, or some sugary cereal. You rush out the door promising yourself you'll eat healthy later. Sound familiar? But here's the kicker. Starting your day with protein isn't just a suggestion, it's a game changer. I've done it myself, and the difference is like night and day. If you think about it, we're all rushing in the morning, right? So it's tempting to grab that muffin or bowl of granola. But the reality is, that sugary quick fix is setting you up for an energy crash an hour later, not to mention the cravings. And then it's a slippery slope to unhealthy choices all day long. It's a vicious cycle. Here's what I've learned. A high protein breakfast, whether it's eggs, Greek yogurt, or a protein smoothie, literally stabilizes everything. Your hunger, your blood sugar, your energy. It's like giving your body a VIP pass to the day, telling it, hey, we're good for the next few hours, no need to freak out and crave carbs. Think about how you feel after a sugary cereal breakfast versus a protein-packed one. Sugar makes you crash, crave more sugar, and ultimately overeat. Protein? Protein keeps you full, focused, and energized for hours. Ever noticed how, when you eat protein in the morning, you don't find yourself scavenging for snacks by 10 a.m.? That's not a coincidence. That's your body thanking you for giving it what it needs to thrive. And trust me, once you experience that kind of sustained energy and control, you'll never go back to your old breakfast habits. It's a complete game changer. Thank you for watching our channel, by the way. Liking the weight loss info so far? Great, please like this video, subscribe and turn on all notifications to the Everyday Weight Loss Hacks channel so we know to keep making content like this to help you with your weight loss journey goals. You're the best, by the way. Now back to the tips you came here for. I know, I know, this sounds like something out of a weight loss hack article from 2003, but hear me out. It's one of those things that seems too simple to work, and yet, it does. When you eat from a larger plate, your brain tricks you into thinking you need more food. It's like this weird optical illusion. Your brain sees all that empty space on the plate and thinks, we need to fill this up, but switch to a smaller plate and, boom, suddenly, your portions seem much bigger. I mean, it's like magic, or psychology. But either way, you're eating less without even realizing it. It's not just about willpower, it's about what's in front of you, what your brain is perceiving. There's something almost satisfying about it. You fill that smaller plate and immediately, there's this sense of accomplishment like you've just done something without much effort. And you have. You've tricked your brain into being satisfied with a smaller portion. And before you know it, you're already eating less without feeling deprived. You're not restricting yourself. You're simply being mindful of your portions in a way that feels effortless. It's a subtle, sneaky way of controlling your intake without turning every meal into a battle. No more agonizing over calorie counting or feeling guilty about every bite. Just simple, effective portion control that works with your brain, not against it. Before we reveal the next hot tip, just a polite reminder that there are resources in the Everyday Weight Loss Hacks YouTube channel. Description box below that you can click on that can help you speed up your weight loss goals starting today. Make sure to check them out after the video so you can start seeing a better looking body in almost no time. Now on to the next tip. I get it. Life's busy and sleep seems optional, right? We wear our lack of sleep like a badge of honor, 
proof of our productivity. But, and this is a big but, lack of sleep actually messes with your hormones in ways you don't even realize. Like, imagine your body as a car. Stick with me here. Sleep is like the oil. If you don't get enough of it, your engine just sputters. It's not efficient. Everything slows down and suddenly you're craving pizza at 2 a.m. Or is that just me? Okay, but seriously though, when you're sleep deprived, your body's hunger signals go haywire. Ghrelin, the hunger hormone, skyrockets, while leptin, the one that tells you you're full, plummets. So yeah, you'll be craving junk food at 11 p.m., even if you just ate dinner. And those cravings, they're not because you lack willpower. They're driven by your hormones, and those hormones are out of whack because you're not getting enough sleep. A solid seven to nine hours of sleep isn't just good for your energy. It's essential for controlling your appetite and metabolism. When you're well rested, your body functions optimally. You make healthier food choices, you have the energy to exercise and your metabolism hums along efficiently. So next time you think you can skip out on sleep to catch up on Netflix, remember that weight loss starts with shutting your eyes. Prioritizing sleep is prioritizing your health, your well-being, and yes, even your weight loss goals. We here at Everyday Weight Loss Hacks YouTube channel want to know, have you tried any of these personally? If so, which ones? Which ones would you consider trying in the future? Feel free free to share your experiences in the comments. We would love to see it. We would love to hear from you. The best comments get a heart. Hydration Hacks, the power of water for weight loss. Water. It's so basic, it almost feels ridiculous to even mention it, right? We all know we should drink more water. But seriously, drinking water before meals is one of those tricks that seems almost too simple to believe. But folks, it works. Ever noticed how you don't feel as hungry after a big glass of water? It's not your imagination. Hydration fills up your stomach and reduces the likelihood of overeating. It's like a pre-meal ritual that sets you up for success. It's like tricking your body into thinking it's already full when really you're just getting started. You're essentially taking up space in your stomach with zero calories, which means you'll naturally eat less without even trying. It's also free, which let's be real makes it even more satisfying. No expensive supplements, no fancy detox teas, just plain old water. I've personally had days where just drinking water before meals kept my cravings in check and helped me avoid unnecessary snacking. And when you're not constantly battling cravings, weight loss becomes so much easier. Sure, it's not as glamorous as the latest fat-burning tea, but it's just as effective and you don't have to worry about weird side effects. Just pure, refreshing hydration that works wonders for your body and your weight. We've all heard it, right? Do more cardio to lose weight. And sure, cardio's great. It gets your heart rate up, burns calories, and is good for your overall health. But here's the thing. Strength training isn't just for bulking up. It's the secret to keeping your metabolism on fire long after you've finished working out. And a faster metabolism means you're burning more calories even at rest. I was once that person who thought lifting weights was for bodybuilders. I couldn't have been more wrong. Strength training isn't about getting bulky. It's about building muscle that keeps burning calories even when you're sitting still. That's the real magic. When you build muscle, your body has to burn more calories to keep it active. So every time you lift weights or do bodyweight exercises, you're setting your body up for a higher metabolic rate. It's not immediate, but over time that extra muscle means more fat burned, even while you binge watch your favorite show. Imagine that, burning calories while you relax. So don't be afraid to hit the weights or try some body weight exercises. You're not just building strength, you're building a more efficient calorie burning machine. We talk about stress all the time, but do we really realize how much it impacts our weight? I don't know about you, but I've had days when stress had me reaching for chocolate, again, and then feeling guilty about it later, which just adds to the stress. It's a vicious cycle. It's not just in our heads. Stress raises cortisol levels, which sends your body into this survival mode. It's like your body thinks it's under attack and needs to store fat for energy. Guess what happens next? You start craving comfort food, your brain's way of coping. It's a natural response, but it's not helping your waistline, is it? Managing stress is critical. Some days, the weight of everything just feels too heavy, and we seek food to soothe that. But here's the deal. Stress management techniques, whether it's deep breathing, a walk in the park, or yoga, can literally lower cortisol and help break the cycle. It's not easy, but it's necessary for sustainable weight loss. When you manage stress, you're not just improving your mental health. You're also regulating your hormones and making it easier to lose weight and keep it off. So find what helps you de-stress and make it a non-negotiable part of your routine. 
your body and mind will thank you. Look, fiber isn't the sexiest topic. It doesn't get the headlines like keto or intermittent fasting. But here's the thing, fiber is powerful, like unbeatable powerful. If you wanna feel full and satisfied, eating fiber-rich foods is like having a secret weapon in your weight loss arsenal. Think vegetables, whole grains, and beans. These foods not only fill you up, but they also help regulate digestion, so everything runs smoothly and you feel good. Now let's be real. Most people aren't getting enough fiber, and that's where the problem lies. You can eat all the low-calorie foods you want, but if your body's not getting fiber, it'll still crave food more often. More cravings? That means more snacking. More snacking? That means more calories. It's a simple equation, really. So, start sneaking in fiber wherever you can. Trust me, your stomach will thank you. Add more veggies to your meals, swap out refined grains for whole grains, and don't be afraid of beans. Fiber is your friend, your ally in the fight against hunger and cravings. Embrace it, and you'll be amazed at how much easier weight loss becomes. Watch these videos now.